news here, it is Wednesday. So to recap on tonight's episode, it basically starts off with everyone coming back from the underworld and they're all looking for Hades because as you saw from last week, he tried to trap everyone there and um, Hades assures Zelina that everything's okay and Zelina actually um, trusts Hades with her baby and says to take her while she, go while she goes away. I'm like, really? You're going to trust Hades with the baby? And King Arthur runs by, who I guess escaped from prison, and he's wondering who Hades is. I mean, they kind of have a moment where they like understand each other, but then next thing you know, Hades breaks his neck. So I'm like, here, Zelina trusts this guy, but kills the first person he sees in Storybrooke. And now, apparently, Arthur is in the underworld, and him and Hook meet. And, you know, Arthur, this season, has been a pretty awful king, if I do say so myself. So, um, Hook tells him that there's only two ways to escape. You go to a better place or a worse one. So, Arthur decides to help Hook in his quest, and they know the only way to defeat Hades is to find out his weakness and if we saw in previous episodes that lies in the missing pages in the story book in the underworld and um Arthur and Killian go to the uh, I guess it was Hades lair to look for it and Arthur is actually the one who ends up finding it and what I found interesting is that the river of lost souls like I don't know what this was but it kept trying to pull Arthur in and it actually looked like the Horned King from the Black Cauldron in a way. And they are... They are able to turn the pages, but, um... They, they're kind of wondering how to return them because, um... The, fo the phone was the only way to get to people from Storybrooke, and Corella revealed that she destroyed it. But Hook just simply puts the pages back in and trusts that Emma will find a way. And... Arthur actually gets redemption. He doesn't go to a better place, but he decides that his fate was to fix a broken kingdom, and he decides that that broken kingdom may not have been Camelot, but it is the Underworld. So he decides, I guess, to be the new um, Hades of the Underworld, hopefully a better Hades, and he stays in the Underworld while Hook goes to a better place. So Zelina and Hades are... Well, Hades is trying to plan his next move, and... Zelina's just, she doesn't want all the power like Hades does. She just wants, she just wants him to love her. She wants, she wants to be enough for him. And he reveals the crystal of the gods. And he reveals that if Robin or Regina or anybody in the heroes try to get in their way, he will use it. And um, Emma's kind of dealing with her grief of losing Killian. Um... They won't let Emma do anything, which is kind of making her mad. I mean, I would be in that situation. They're kind of like telling her, no, your your mind's too clouded because of Killian. And um, when Emma looks through the pages in the library, like all the heroes are doing, he she um, looks in the book and sees a picture of her and Hook when they went back into the Enchanted Forest in the past, and suddenly the book just opens to the picture of the crystal, and now Emma knows how to defeat Hades, and she goes to um, Regina's office where they are and tries to break through the portal because Zelina put up a portal to protect them, so, protect them. and Robin and Regina, because um, there's a protection spell, they go... Um, take a secret tunnel into her office and Robin's kind of having a, a hard time with Regina trusting Zelina now because you know after all the things that Zelina's done but Robin trusts Regina and actually says that she does deserve a, ch a second chance and they actually have a nice moment down there and we haven't got much outlaw queens this season at all and he said to Regina, I'm always with you. And Robin actually said a great quote. He said that, um, you're, 
I think it went like your past doesn't define your story, which I thought was a very beautiful quote. But they go into the office to retrieve the baby because, you know, Zillian and Hades have the baby. And sure enough, Hades appears out of nowhere and he decides that he's going to use the crystal on Regina because he thinks Regina is going to get in the way of everything and Robin actually steps in the way and he sacrifices himself for Regina and I'm heartbroken but you know what I haven't cried because the writers have made Regina's life so miserable these past five seasons that this was kind of expected. I mean, when they had the promo saying that somebody would not survive this episode, everybody knew it was going to be Robin Hood because they just love to make Regina's life awful. And it's very hypocritical, I think, because the show is supposed to be about hope, but yet they have the most... Um, they have the most popular character and the most influential character in the show. All of her, all of her people she loves dies. Her father died, her mother died, her first love died, and now Robin died. So, uh, what does that tell you? That just gives you false hope and just tells you that whenever you're happy, there's always going to be something there to destroy it. And Zelina comes running into the office um, not before, um, she catches Emma outside and she sees the pages and she's in shock. Like, she still thinks that they're trying to kill Hades, but when she goes inside, she starts to realize that Hades only wants power and that he's basically using her and that he doesn't truly love her, he loves power. And Zelina ends up killing Hades with the Crystal of the Gods and Hades is obliterated into dust and... Um, Zelina and Regina both grieve um, the loss of their loves and what I didn't get is how come True Love's Kiss couldn't wait to save Robin and because he sacrificed himself for True Love, I mean, True Love is supposed to conquer all, I mean, what's up with that there? It just makes no sense to me. So we, like I mentioned before, um, Hook is supposed to go to a better place but we see that he meets Zeus and he thanks him for um, defeating Hades and he sends him to the place where he belongs and it's back in Storybrooke. And he comes right in the middle of Robin's funeral and they're all tributing, paying a tribute to Robin by putting arrows on his coffin and it's quite sad because he saw little Roland putting an arrow on there and I feel bad for the kid because his mother's dead and his father's dead. I mean, the kid's an orphan. What's going to happen to him now? I mean, is he going to go for the Merry Men? Is Regina going to adopt him? And they actually figure out a name for the baby and they decide to name Zelina's baby Robin. And I'm like, they aren't even getting creative with the names. I mean, they named Snow and Charming's... Um, son Neil because Neil sacrificed himself for everyone and they named the baby Robin because he sacrificed himself for Regina. I'm like really this is just ugh. But um Hook and Emma reunite and I think it's so disappointing because Hook gets to stay in storybook but Robin doesn't. I mean it's just ridiculous. And then you see Rumple. apparently he tried to make a deal with Hades, but he didn't want to make any deals with him. And he tried to get Belle's father to get her out of the sleeping curse, but um, Belle's father doesn't want anything to do with Rumple. I mean, I wouldn't either. And you see the last scene in the episode that Rumple, um goes through the, I guess, Hades' ashes, and he finds a piece of the crystal still, and he said, you should have made a deal with me. So... I'm wondering what that means. Like, is Arumpo going to be a god now? Can he bring somebody back? I mean, hopefully he could bring Robin back. So, that's basically it for this tonight's episode. Um, Next week is the season finale of Once Upon a Time, and it is on on a special time. Um, Apparently, from the promo, um, Henry apparently destroys magic, and they all think that Regina is going to go back to being the evil queen. I mean... I mean, come on, Regina has changed 
so much. She's overcome so much, and here they automatically think she's going to be the evil queen again. I mean, it's just what they've been doing to her the whole, this whole time. That every time something happens to Regine, they automatically think she's going to go back to being the evil queen. But anybody else happens, they're like, oh, it's okay. They comfort them and everything, but Regina, they don't comfort her at all. They just assume that she's going to go back to being evil again. I mean, she's trying to put the past behind her and move forward and be a better person, but how could she be a better person when everybody keeps reminding her of her past? And I gotta say, I really do hope they bring Robin back because it is just a shame because Sean McGuire is such an amazing actor and they, he was supposed to be one of the main characters this whole season, but Robin did not get any lines this whole season and this moment with Regina, this episode is probably one of the only outlaw queen scenes we got this whole season and it's just ridiculous. I'm so sick of them giving us false hope about Regina and you know, she finally gets happiness again and of course it's taken away and of course our hearts are left broken so I just think that they definitely should bring Robin back. If you feel as passionate as I do about bringing Robin back please use the hashtag save Robin on Twitter and show the writers that we want Robin back. Um, if you want to catch next week's up season finale of Once Upon a Time, it will be on at 7 p.m. on ABC. I, I honestly hope they bring Robin back because if they don't bring Robin back and they keep Hook, I'm definitely going to consider if I'm going to be watching Once Upon a Time anymore. I will probably go to a new sh I'll probably watch um, Barbara Hershey's new show, Damien, which you all know her, know her as Cora from Once Upon a Time. So if you want to catch her new show, Damien, it is on Mondays, 8 p.m. Scratch that. Mondays, 10 p.m. on a and &E. So I'm going to try to recover from tonight's episode. I hope you guys are all recovering. Like, subscribe, and remember... Stay regal and hashtag save Robin.